right, so we are back here at the NRW Checkpoint with a, another reaction. And this one is a game, and the title is Have a Nice Death. Yeah. <laughs> Who thinks of these game titles? It's weird. Sounds like a horror movie. It is. <laughs> like a PG-13 of... slasher flick. Yeah. I think they might. I don't know. Let's watch the trailer. Yeah, let's watch the trailer. Because <laughs> I think they might have a, a, a movie, like, kind of with that same title. But let's see. Oh, it was Gearbox. Okay. Definitely fine. I'm feeling it already. Hey, right. <laughs> so you're playing as a Grim Reaper. And it looks like a Metroidvania style game. All yes. hand drawn. Or death. <laughs> That's what it feels like sometimes. You're working and then you're dying. You're not living. Right. Yeah, definitely Metroidvania style. Nothing wrong with that. Oh no, no, because it did well. And this is also like a big spin on this 2D um, side scroll. This looks really cool though. It does. I like the fluidity of it. Yeah, it looks really fun and fast-paced. Yeah. It, it, and it got a sense of humor. I like that. I love that as well. And that's one of the things I one of the things I hate about a lot of the current crop of Metroidvania games. Mm -hmm. They're so slow with the backtracking and everything. It for me it's really pulled me out of the game. Like the last one I played was the uh, Record of the Littles War one. Mm -hmm. And that is it is so similar to symphony of the night in my opinion for a gameplay but it's like a half beat slower so it just it got boring to me very fast it's like it's like so this looks like something that's going to be you know very fast paced very whimsical to really keep the player involved and again this kind of goes back to a previous conversation we had about major publishers not putting out a game like this even though gearbox is not a major publisher it's still a major game player with the borderland series and we're going right. to talk about some other things probably in another video uh from them but <laughs> it is it it takes game companies like that to really risk put the money into games like that and right. it looks really cool though it does i'm excited for it what console do we know because it, it is it it's probably everything uh, I, it's gearbox gearbox isn't known at least to my knowledge for exclusivity okay. and with a game like that those metrovanias you're you you want to recoup your money by putting them on as many things po as possible right so I'm that trying was to, put, trying to build up my uh I'm trying to build up my <laughs> my switch roster. I'm gonna be traveling a lot soon. So I'm trying to right. I'm trying to make sure I got some games on it. That looks dope though. Right. I would be surprised if it's not on the switch. That yeah. that doesn't make any sense to me. Be upset. <laughs> All right. And that was have a nice death. And of course, Brian, where can he find you? At Brian Saf, Twitter, Instagram, talk and play blurry cast here on the NRW checkpoint. All right. Thank you, sir. And of course, you can find me at WebStyle, WebStyle.com, and you will find all the associated links on WebStyle.com. And of course, you are at Nerds Rule the World. Find us on Twitter at the NRW. Find us on Instagram at New Release Wednesday. And of course, you are currently on YouTube. So like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>